Welcome to the Czech Republic, a country renowned for its rich history, magnificent architecture and the distinctive golden hues of its globally celebrated beers. Yet, along the enchanting, winding streets of Prague and the timeless allure of Czeski Krumlov, there's a fact about its railway system that might surprise you. Did you know that the Czech Republic possessed the second densest railway network in Europe, just behind Switzerland? With an area of 79,000 square kilometers, placing it 115th in the world by size, the Czech Republic stands impressively at 25th place for the length of its railway lines, totaling about 9.5 thousand kilometers. Indeed, from the era of the Austro-Hungarian Empire to the epoch of the first Czechoslovak Republic, and throughout the years of centralized socialist planning, the Czech railways or Czeske Drahi have survived the devastation of two world wars and served the command economy of the communist era. Today, in these modern times, they offer quite good railway service for all its customers. Each mentioned historical period has imprinted its legacy, creating a network that extends into almost every corner of the country. And to see the extent of this network, take a look at this incredible interactive map. We invite our Czech viewers to share some intriguing historical facts about the evolution of their railways, as we had to intentionally skip some of the details. As many other European counterparts, Czech Railways has undergone a restructuring process of its once monopolistic system initiated in 2003. As you already know, one of the pivotal steps in this process was the separation of infrastructure management from train operations. This significant change was completed in July 2008, when all remaining infrastructure activities were transferred from Czeske Drahi to the newly established infrastructure manager Sprava Železničny do Pravni Cesti, today branded as Prava Železnic. We need to underline that rail transport in the Czech Republic is regionalized, and in that sense 14 regions are responsible for ordering regional rail transport, while the Ministry of Transport is responsible for ordering long-distance rail transport. When discussing the railway infrastructure out of the total track length in the Czech Republic, approximately 21% consists of double track, while around 34% is electrified. Interestingly, there are two major electrification systems. The initial surge in electrification began immediately after World War II. Utilizing the experiences and projects from both the pre-war period and the electrification projects of the Slovak state from 1941 to 1943, a 3-kW direct current system was selected as the power supply system. Starting in 1963, the electrification project was executed with the 25kV 50Hz AC. This utilization of the different power systems was due to then expert disagreements on which system was more advantageous. The direct current and alternating current systems first intersected at Kutna Hora station, where a junction was established. Before the introduction of the first multi-system locomotives in the 1970s, all trains were required to switch locomotives at this station. As you can see in the image, the distribution of these two systems along the track length is nearly equal, and to add variety, there are also 14 km electrified with 15 kV and 24 km with 1.5 kV DC. Since we were unable to find where and how these two minor electrification systems were implemented, we welcome you to enrich our knowledge by sharing this information in the comment section. In terms of speed distribution, as in most European countries, the most prevalent speed bracket is below 80 km per hour, which constitutes, we can freely say, 60% of the total lines. Notably, the Czech Republic does not currently have a high-speed rail lines. However, there's an initiative that aims to change this situation. Actually, a feasibility study is in progress for a HSR network that will connect the Visegrad four countries. The planned HSR line is set to run from Warsaw through Brno, where it will branch off towards Prague, Bratislava and Budapest. 
this development will undoubtedly be an interesting topic and we will for sure prepare special video about it in next period. Another surprising fact is the highly competitive railway market in the Czech Republic. According to data from the Independent Regulators Group IRG Rail, during 2021, 123 operators were active in the railway market, comprising 29 passenger and 97 freight carriers. With this number, the Czech Republic ranks just behind Germany and even ahead of Poland and other economically stronger states. However, the utilization of the infrastructure is something in which the Czech Republic falls behind comparable countries such as Austria, Denmark or Switzerland. Network usage intensity serves as an indicator of the overall occupancy of the railway network as it measures the number of train kilometers per route kilometer per day. Let's now turn our attention to the companies providing railway transportation services. Czeske Drahi is a joint stock company that predominantly engages in passenger transportation. This company encompasses several subsidiaries, including the railway freight carrier Chud Cargo, collectively forming the Czeske Drahi Group. We will explore statistics shortly, but first let's discuss their competitors in passenger transport, as we believe that the company's service quality would not be what it is today without a liberalized railway market. Before 2009, rival operators in passenger transport were limited to a few regional routes. Given the business and financial risks, private operators were mainly interested in smaller, subsidized regional lines, which attracted relatively few public tenders. So, contracts were frequently awarded directly to Czeske Drahi, until RegioJet's emergence. RegioJet was the first company to bid for, and we want to emphasize this, an unsubsidized main railway line. RegioJet was, and still is, supported by its parent company, Student Agency, which brought extensive experience from bus transportation and flight ticket sales, as well as the financial resilience necessary to withstand the business and financial risks involved. In 2010, RegioJet reached an agreement with Prava Železnic regarding operations on the national and regional railway lines. After a short trial period, RegioJet began full operations on the Ostrava Prague route in September 2011. This agreement signaled the start of liberalization and competition on this profitable line, connecting Ostrava, the third largest city in the northeast of the Czech Republic, and Prague, the capital. Another operator worth mentioning is Leo Express, established in August 2011, which began regular services in January 2013 on the same route, further enhancing passenger competition. The Ostrava Prague route is the busiest railway line in the Czech Republic, serving 1.4 million people in the Prague area, 0.8 million around Ostrava, and numerous others in the surrounding towns and cities. The trains have a considerable competitive advantage on this route, since the direct highway connection between Ostrava and Prague is significantly longer due to the indirect route through Brno. For comparison, the bus journey covers 402 km and takes 5 hours and 20 minutes, whereas the railway route spans 356 km with a travel time of just 3 hours and 5 minutes. Additionally, frequent congestion on the highway and marginal air service further enhances the attractiveness of rail travel. The passenger railway transport on this route has seen swift advancement, leading to a unique situation – three operators competing on the same line without any public subsidies. This has resulted in quality improvements, tariff reductions, product differentiation, innovative market strategies and also legal disputes. The emergence of open access competition in Slovakia on the Žilina Košice main route in December 2014 is closely linked to open access competition in the Czech Republic. All three Czech competitors have ventured onto this route, challenging the incumbent Slovak railways and connecting open access in the Czech Republic with that in Slovakia along the Prago Strava Žilina Košice route. It is crucial to highlight that market liberalization has led to decreased fares, increased ridership and numerous service innovations. 
For instance, the advent of open access has provided smaller towns with direct services to Prague. Regiojet, for example, began serving Haviržov, which previously had no direct link to Prague. Czeske Drahi initiated direct services to Opava, achieving great success. Leo Express began operations in Suhdol nad Odro and Studenka, smaller towns near medium-sized or large cities, bringing further innovation and market growth. And that just for routes outside public service obligation contracts. As PSO contracts with Czeske Drahi were due to expire in 2019, primarily Regiojet, Leo Express and Arriva obtained PSO contracts through tenders from the Ministry, thereby capturing additional market share from Czeske Drahi. Additionally, Regiojet during last decade has expanded to become the second largest bus operator in Europe and the leading private rail passenger operator in Central Europe. Holding licenses to operate in the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Germany, Austria and Poland, the company transported 11 million passengers in 2022 across its range of services between different European cities. But when we discuss overall passenger transport performance in 2022, approximately 176 million passengers were transported in Czech Republic, of which 157 million by Czech Drahi. What's also noteworthy is that the Czech railway market has not yet returned to the results achieved pre-Covid, considering that nearly 20 million more passengers were transported in 2019, as you can see from the chart. Regarding the punctuality of trains according to the official statistics of Sprava Železnic, the on-time performance, including a tolerance of up to 5 minutes, was at 87%. This means that out of 2.8 million scheduled passenger trains, about 2.5 million did not experience delays exceeding 5 minutes. Yes, you heard well, 2.8 million passenger trains were organized in 2022. As for the freight transport market in the Czech Republic, it is often considered one of the best in Europe. In 2022, a total of 93 million tons of goods were transported by rail, with Chuda Cargo handling 64 million tons and the remaining 29 million managed by the other operators. Looking at the total goods transported by rail, the Czech Republic outperforms many of the larger economies in Europe. But the story about Czech railways is far from over. Videos about the high-speed railway that will connect the Visegrad Group countries and perhaps even a special video on Regiojet itself will find its place on this channel. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon and consider supporting our work through Patreon donations or by becoming a member of our community. Every bit of support means a lot to us in continuing producing these videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.